Hi guys, Danny here. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys another CPU color review. This one's going to be of the Arctic Freezer 13. This is the limited edition version. Um, I did actually check out the original Freezer 13 back when I had an i5 and a, and a pretty terrible correct motherboard about two years ago. So yeah, it'd be good to kind of take a look at this color again, even though this is a limited edition one where they've actually um, fully nickel plated the um, heat packs, the thinner array. Um, I believe they've left the base just pure copper, just essentially so you get a little bit more performance since in general nickel plating a cooler does decrease performance by a tiny tiny amount as I've seen when I took a look at the uh, Celentium PC Fortis 3, yes, they did their like Mallet custom version, did look pretty nice. So yeah, we're going to be uh, having a look at this cooler, I have actually already tested the cooler, I can say it does very very well. I don't think you can see it behind the MSI 1060 as that card is quite tall. Um, it, if anything, that's really showing that this cooler is quite uh, quite short in terms of height and yeah, really does well for its size. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to get into the review, going to have a look at the cooler, go over some tech, um, tech specs and stuff like that, and then um, just kind of jump in straight to the benchmarks and uh, hopefully this video um, isn't too long. Yes, there we are. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. To get started inside the box you get the cooler itself and the mounting hardware, then the compound is already installed onto the cooler so you'll need to apply your own. You of course also get an instruction manual, although you could just figure out how to install this particular cooler. The instruction manual is mainly drawings of the product, however it looks pretty damn easy to install on all the platforms that it supports. So onto the cooler, the design is an extra thick, short, single tower cooler with a black 92mm fan, more on that fan later. The total dimensions of the unit with the fan attached is 130mm in height, 123mm in width and 96mm in depth, so a rather short, stumpy single tower cooler as mentioned. The total weight of the cooler with the fan attached is just over 700 grams, so rather light. The tower features many aluminium fins with four 6mm nickel plated copper heat pipes passing through the fin stack of which is also nickel plated as you can see in the footage. Up top you can see the ends of the heat pipes, the somewhat reflective top slit and the Freezer 13 limited edition branding on the fan. The cooler sports all modern AMD and Intel CPU sockets excluding the LGA 2011 platform and a separate mounting hardware for both AMD and Intel sockets. The base of the unit is not nickel plated but pure copper, this should result in better performance however it will be a tad harder to remove thermal compound. Moving on to the included th fan, this is a 92mm PWM fan with a rotation range of 600 to 2000 RPM and simply presses onto the heatsink. You'll need a flathead screwdriver to remove it from the cooler. Moving on to the installation of the Freezer 13, it's very easy to install, no backplate is needed as this cooler is only light so it connects to the board with the good old pushpin design. So first up you want to remove your old heatsink and place the included mounting plate over the CPU socket holes. With this done you can then insert the four push pins, then add the second half of the push pins into the others to secure it into place. After you've done this you can then add a small line of thermal compound and place the cooler on top of the CPU. Lastly you can then screw the two last 12mm screws into place, making sure you screw these down evenly to spread the thermal compound, well, evenly. Next you can reconnect the fan by clipping it on and connect the fan header to your motherboard. Overall a good mounting mechanism for installing this cooler onto the Intel platform and very easy to do. Although no back plate is included it's not a very heavy cooler so this should hold into place nicely. So now we've got the installation out of the way we can speak performance. I ran my standard Adobe Premiere Pro video render test on the i7-4790K of all cores clocked to 4.4GHz of the automatic voltage and the cooler scored a good temperature of 645 degrees. As for a comparison I also performed a test at 4GHz, the cooler of course did score a lower degree of 51.5 degrees C, all results have been normalised to 20 degrees room temperature. So lastly onto the box for the Freezer 13, Arctic do boast that this cooler really slaps the Intel stock cooler in terms of performance. Well I've put this through its paces at the two frequencies also and can confirm it does beat out the stock Intel cooler by quite a bit. We're talking 55.6 degrees versus 79 degrees at 4 gigahertz and as for 4.4 gigahertz the Freezer 13 scored 70.6 degrees while the Intel stock cooler straight out failed at 100 degrees. Overall a great cooler and really do like the, the aesthetics of this cooler. Nickel plate on this cooler was really a great idea as it's now a good performing and good looking cooler that is very affordable for people on budget. Anyhow, let's conclude. 
So guys, yeah, that was my review of the Freezer 13, the limited edition cooler from Arctic. Arctic have also, Arctic have also uh, recently um, changed their logo. I, I quite like the new design. It's a little bit more modern, I think. Um, hopefully it does good for them. So this cool overall, pretty damn good. Uh, for its overall kind of volume, it's a very, very good cooler. It, it may not be one of the quietest coolers in the world, but I think the performance you get from this is pretty damn good for the money. And as I've just mentioned at the end, the, the whole uh, dark nickel plating that they've done to this cooler, it, it, it looks very, very nice. And um, yeah, it's a re refreshing change from the whole uh, orange copper heat pipe and like silver aluminium fin thing so yes it's very very nice uh, that is cool it does perform very well because it's a good looking one so thanks for watching guys please feel free to like comment and also subscribe oh and also as always you'll find a link uh, for this product uh, to buy at amazon in the description as well as a link to arctic's website so yeah, as always thanks for watching and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye